I'm back. So, I apologize for uh, the lack of vlog yesterday. Um, but yeah, so we're back with Long Live the Queen. I had some requests to just at least try and win this time. Um, like I said though, I, oh, maybe I didn't say, um, I officially 100% completed the game. I got all of the backgrounds, I got all of the achievements, I got all the endings, all the possible ways to die, etc. So if you have any requests for an achievement that maybe you're stuck on or you're just curious, I can do that. But all I've gotten so far are requests to do, um, oh, English RPL, to uh, just play again and try and win. So we're going to try and win. And we've seen all this ahead already, so we're going to skip all of that. We've played this before. I will still read through all the stuff as we go through, but I'm going to, and all the dialogue and whatnot. But I'm gonna skip the intro. So if this is your first time checking in, essentially, her mom's dead. And she's super sad. And she's about to become queen in 40 weeks. And we have to train her to become queen, but people don't want her to be queen, and so she might die. So we have to try and not get her to die and get her to live till her coronation. So, um, how this works is she has skills that she has to use. You know what? Just go back one week, seriously, one week and watch the intro video and we'll go through the uh it goes through the whole thing. So let's just get into it. So um, our skills that we can do are expression and animal handling. So I'm going to instrument and voice because I'm going to play this how I kind of like usually play it. Like my, my default, my favorite way. So week one, morning, instrument. You tap out chiming, chiming dyads on a glock and she'll learn the basics of harmony and rhythm. And you practice deep breathing exercises to build up your ability to sustain a note. Excellent. What's the noise? Who's there? It's my cousins. Well, you've seen this already, but that is okay. We're sorry to hear about your mom. Thanks. You look well, niece. Hi, Lodi. Haven't seen you in ages, Lodi. Where will you be staying? Oh, you're staying here all month. And I'm a little bit more cheerful. That's exciting. So I'm going to sneak out and it will get me willful, which will allow me to kind of do. You sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. So now, we're still doing the same. So we're gonna do the same classes again, because um, I need to get them up to a certain point so that I can do something later. All right, you learn to play notes and scales on a simple wooden recorder. You practice with the recorder, learning to recognize tunes that you hear and, re that you hear and replicate them. You learn the differences in resonance between the chest, the head, and the nose. You learn about different vocal ranges from the most profound bass to the rare coloratura soprano. Alright, what's that commotion outside, Father? What's going on? Oh, it's the Duchess of Ursel, Juliana. And he doesn't like her. What? She's a lumen, basically a magician. And your mind has been traitors, we're having a crime to my daughter. That's for the princess to decide. Your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you, yet we're gonna let her stay. I want to hear what she has to say. She stays, as you wish. So we're gonna talk with her. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. And I failed the lore check. Uh, it's a crystal, it's a source of power for any lumen. Once you've bonded with it, it becomes a part of you as long as you live. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, so that the king might be keeping it from you. Do you have a crystal? Yes, that's what it looks like, it's pretty. You reach to touch it and it dissolves away into nothing. Oh, belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. You need to find the crystal that belongs to you. All right. And we're gonna do instrument and voice again. Uh, you practice major and minor skills at the keyboard of a pianoforte. You study, you study musical notation and begin to play familiar songs by sight on the piano. Okay. Okay, and now it's 50, so we have to up the other ones too. You learn the solfa system, a way of expressing a tune Expressing a tune where each one is represented by a different syllable, you practice standing in the correct posture and singing scales to improve your pitch and tone. La, 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 la. Alright. He loves me, he loves me not. Oh, okay. And she points a sword at my feet. Let's try and hold still. We're gonna fail the computer check. Yeah. Um, there's a snake in the grass. You squeak and it attacks. Shit. Downer's been bitten by a milk viper. They're poisonous. They don't feel good. That's why I said it last time, too. Turning home to Marva, you're at this point where there's no need of this station. I've been there. Some of them have tried to kill you. And we don't know how Charlotte's going to be. So, let's talk to our dad. What happened to the Lumen Crystal? It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No! But it's mine! 
Meddling with magic killed your mother. Don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you, but for now you are a child. Oh, and excellent. I am willful. Okay. So, that means I can do intrigue and military. So, intrigue. Let's do internal affairs and strategy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is the next in line for the crown, and after him would be his daughter, your cousin Charlotte, who just got bit by a milk viper. Uh oh. You study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons in battle formations. Fun stuff. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zara and their parents gone. It's certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was so worried about Charlotte after that snake bit her, but her mother said she's okay. Oh, failed the poison check. So I guess it turned out all right. Maybe she has a guardian angel. All right, so let's talk to the Duchess again, because Dad won't give me the crystal, because he's mean. My father says I can't have the crystal until I'm queen, so we'll just have to wait. There may not be time to wait. This world is filled with dangers, and you will need the powers of a lumen to fight them. You can't begin training until you have bonded with your crystal. Well, what else am I supposed to do about it? The crystal is probably held under guard in the royal treasury. You are the princess. You should be able to find a way inside. Otherwise, you might have to take drastic action. What drastic action? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. To reach the crystal, try to reach the crystal. If you can't, come and talk to me again. Alright, we're gonna do the same classes, I think. Yeah, we need to get them to 25. So, let's go at it again. Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess Nix, claims kinship to the old Merva line and originally asked your mother for the title to the duchy. However, no one could verify her lineage. As a compromise, your mother created her brother, Duke of Merva. The last Duke of Mead, which. Okay, funny story I'll tell you after. Uh, TLDR, actually. Uh, had the husband play this this weekend, and he laughed every time Mead came up. The Duke and Duchy of Mead. Um, the last Duke of Mead was the older half-brother of the current Duchess. His reign was brief and highly scandalous. He defied tradition to pledge himself as the lifelong mate of, as the life mate of the old Duke of Ursula, then broke off. Then broke that off only a year later. He retired to seclusion and died still unwed. You study the effects of battle stress on troops and how morale can turn the tide of combat. You study military recruitment and the importance of training and motivation in making soldiers who can trust and depend on each other. Cool. One of the maids approaches you for your attention. Couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. We have a Duke of the whole wife failed the foreign intelligence and the foreign affairs. And the Duchy of Sedna isn't a loss. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences, deep regret, best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Something sparkly will make me feel better. Okay, so it's in the treasury, and they won't let me in. Okay, well, we'll just have to wait, I guess. Classes. We're going to do foreign intelligence and naval strategy. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Talas. You learn that the sea is not something you hold, it is something you travel across. And that naval strategy ensures your free travel while denying it to your enemies. Uh, familiar f you spot a familiar figure in the gardens, it's the Duchess, and she's super friendly with the priestess. You notice something unusual. Is it a servant, a thief, or an assassin? Let's run and hide. And... So we want to be willful. Let's up... Cheerful. Let's go walk in the gardens. A walk in the fresh air helps you forget the burdens on your shoulders. Excellent. Alright. And we're going to continue on with these. The domain of Sangia across the sea to the west has been steadily increasing in size and now controls a wide range of coastline as well as most of the navigable water rivers. The political disruption in Tongula in recent years has caused a disruption in their chocolate production, which is the which is to the benefit of Nova, particularly the Duchy of Kegel. You study different kinds of ships, their names, designs, and the number of crew needed for each. You study different kinds of ships, their speed, maneuverability, and standard complement of weapons. Cool. Oh, Maid comes running down holding a tower of linen. Before you can react, she barrels into you, because I failed elegance and reflexes, sending you and the sheets flying. Oh, my lady, I'm so sorry. Hmm. Uh, Punisher. How dare you? What do you think you're doing? I'll have you flogged for this. Yes, my lady. Because I'm an asshole this time around. Um, let's go to the dungeons. You sneak a peek at some of the luckless peasants held in the dungeons. Petty thieves and troublemakers now suffering in the dark. They're obviously bad people, but seeing them so miserable still feels unfair. There must be a better way. Alright. Now we want to 
ciphering and logistics. Done. All right. Uh, you practice reading words whose letters have been arranged in reverse order. The simplest of puzzles, which anyone literate can puzzle through if they try, but sometimes useful to hide information, and it says in plain sight backwards. Uh, you learn about the types of, and amounts of food required for an army on the march and how long they will remain edible. That's good to know. There is a man here to see you. He wishes crown funding for a project of his. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. He wants to print books using metal letters. That seems stupid, as the husband said last time. And we failed production and trade, so we're not interested in making books. Sorry. But we're going to go walk in the gardens again. 